Today, uh, Hyunju prayed, you know, uh, in, in her prayers. She uh, specifically mentioned that, you know, to expand the kingdom of God, right? So you, if you remember her prayer. So, as a response, I, I believe, the today's uh, title of our, uh, sermon is The Secret of the Kingdom of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Okay, so how do we expand, you know, have the kingdom of God in us? Okay, let's read the um, word of God, Mark 4, 1 to 20. Let's read it all together. Is it chapter? No, okay, it seems good. Again, Jesus began to teach by the lake. The crowd that gathered around him was so large that he got into a boat and sat in it, sat in it out on the lake, while all the people were along the shore at the water's edge. He taught them many things by parables, and in his teaching said, Listen, a father went out to sow his seed. As he was scattered in the sea, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Other seeds fell among the thorns, which grew up and choked the plants, so that they did not bear grain. Still other seeds fell among the Whose soil it came up, grew, and produced a crop, multiplying thirty, sixty, even a hundred times. Then Jesus said, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. When, when Jesus was alone. Now, okay, this is one, one side of the story. Now, Jesus is alone. And let's keep reading. The twelve, the twelve and the others around him asking, asking about the parables. Now, they are wondering about the parable. And they, they started you know, to ask about parable. What does it mean? Let's keep going. When he was just alone, the twelve, the twelve and the from him asked him about the parables. Okay, that's the same. He told them the secret of the kingdom of God. The secret of kingdom of God, let's keep reading, has been given to you, but to those on the outside, everything is said in parables, so that they may not be ever seeing, but never perceiving, and never hearing, but never understanding. Otherwise, they might turn and be forgiven. Then Jesus said to them, Don't you understand this parable? How then will you understand any parable? The farmer sows the word. Some people are like seed along the path, where the word is sown. As soon as they hear it, Satan comes and takes away the word that has sown in them. Some people are like seed along the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear it, Satan comes and then takes away the word that was sown in them. Others, like seeds on rocky places, hear the word and at once receive it with joy. But since they have no root, they last long a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall, fall away. Still others, like seeds on among thorns, hear the word, but the worries of this life, the deceitfulness of the wealth, and the desires for other things come in and choke the word, making it unfruitful. Others, like seeds on a good soil, Hear the word, accept it, and produce a crop 30, 60, even 100 times what was sown. Amen? Amen. Amen. 30, 60, 100 of times. Okay? So what was the book of this, this gospel? Mark. This is Mark. Mark. Okay? And 
Mark is written for, for Gentiles like us. Okay? Mark, is, is Mark one of the apostles? Yes or no? No. no. Mark is, you know, so how could he write a book of gospel then? We, uh, we assume that, you know, he, he collected the, all the information from the Peter. Peter, Mark and Peter, they, they went together for, you know, evangelist uh, this travel around, you know, the, the Israel and all around Europe, right? So, and, and then he got to know, and also he, uh, from the saints of the church, work, uh, by working together with them, he got all the information about Jesus, and he wrote this, you know, book of gospel, even though he is not one of the, you know, 12 apostles, okay? From today's word of God, it is written in, in chapter 4, it was, it was an only part of Jesus' public life, okay? It's very early part. Uh, what did Jesus do? What did he do? Jesus preached, preached gospel and elected disciples, the followers, and he drove out demons and he healed the sick, okay? And in chapter 1, Jesus healed a, a man with leprosy, okay? And in chapter 2, Jesus healed a paralyzed guy, okay, with the friends, you know, the friends. They, they took out the, the ceiling of the one, one house where Jesus was because they could not get into the, get close to the house. They took out the ceiling and they just dropped it, right? The, the, the paralyzed friend. And do you remember the, there was a tension between, the, between Jesus and and the teachers of the laws, teachers of the, the laws, they were watching him. And then there was tension. And they thought, you know, when Jesus said, your, your sin is forgiven to the paralyzed guy. Okay? And then the teachers of the law, they thought that, who is this guy? Who could, you know, uh, that he can forgive sin? Right? And then, what did Jesus say? What did Jesus say at the time? Jesus said, which is easier to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up and take your mat and walk? Which one is easier? <coughs> Nothing's easier. <laughs> for, for the you know, teachers of the law, they cannot forgive sins because they are sinners. And they do not have power to heal the you know, paralyzed guy, right? So nothing's possible for them, but Jesus showed authority that he could, he could forgive the sins and he could heal the sin, right? So now Jesus became famous around the region of Galilee, okay? If it happens today, then you will go there, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to, to this, you know, this guy. Anyway, so many people were gathered to get some benefits, okay? And to be healed or to hear the message. Hear the message. And then, today's word of God, Jesus had some debates. Okay, before today's, you know, today's chapter, Jesus had debate with Pharisees, okay? And about the fasting in chapter 2, they condemned Jesus and disciples. John the Baptist, you know the, your friend John the Baptist, and the followers are fasting. And then, how about you, Jesus? How about your followers? followers? You, you guys are enjoying, the, enjoying food, and you, you guys are not doing fasting. And Jesus said in Mark 2, 19, Jesus answered, how can the guest of the bridegroom fast while he, he is with, with them? Okay? They cannot, as long as they have heaven with him, they don't fast. Okay? And Jesus said, new wine into new wineskin. Right? Jesus proclaimed, here is a new era of grace from God through Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. In chapter 4, and Jesus healed a man with a shriveled hand. Okay?
okay one hand is shriveled and then Jesus specifically healed this man on which day? Sabbath <laughs> Sabbath why is the Sabbath so important because nobody works on Sabbath okay so because of this mark 3 6 the Pharisees went out and began to plot with the Herodians how to kill this guy I mean the Jesus Christ they started thinking about this guy is you know invincible seems but <laughs> they they had a plot to kill him okay so now Jesus knew that right there's a you know some tensions and to avoid too much of conflict okay Pharisees Herodians um, and teachers of the laws and so on and Jesus started preaching sermons in what parables parables actually it was a grace of Jesus teaching in parables why because since those who were against Jesus they did not make any further sin by hearing his message right because they don't understand what the parable means so they cannot accuse them condemn him you know so and then uh, those who are long for the true meaning of the message they could get very clear message uh, because of the parables okay and they they also had deeper understanding of the meaning of parables along with that so this is a uh, this is a wisdom of God right mm -hmm. amen so today okay Hyunju, are you following yes. the, the slide okay <laughs> okay today our main message today's parable is a parable of parable of sore or sometimes we we call it you know four kinds of soil right from mark we just read from Mark 1 to, to 20, but from Mark 1 to 9, it was given to everybody. The first part, remember that? Without any explanations, first part was given everybody. And then later part, 10 to 20, was given to only to the followers of Jesus Christ with detailed explanations, right? And then before, you know, detailed explanations, Jesus said that it was, it was the, what was the? What was it? The secret of kingdom of God. Okay, Jesus said that, right? It's not me. Okay, Jesus said the secret of kingdom of kingdom of God. And you know, what else can I add? You know, Jesus already explained it. But but to give you a sermon today, I will try to explain, deliver you the message of what what was given from God. Okay. I will try my best and then you know make you understand anyway first of all there is a farmer farmer okay who saw the word in verse 14 we can you know immediately get to know that this seed is what seed is word, word of god okay you, you guys are so smart you already know the <laughs> secret of kingdom of god i guess Okay, the seed is word of God, and then we can refer that what what is soil? Okay, what soil then? Soil means the soil is the receiver of the word of God. What is it? It's us, right? And soil is soul of the one who listens the word of God. Am I right? Okay, so you agree with that. It means us and specific, specifically our mind who hears the word of God. More specifically, it goes to our soul first by hearing it, physically hearing it, and in, my, uh, in our brain, and it goes in there. So there are four types of soil. One is the pathway, path, rocky place, and among thorns the place among thorns and the uh, last one is good soil. good soil and the words of god is you know scattered uh, on those four types of soil okay first thing is pathway pathway is a is it a good place to scatter the seed no the soil is so hardened by you know footsteps of people 
and or tell us, you know, go and you know, they, they just you know travel along the pathway. It it becomes really hard, and, and when they are scattered seed, they could be easily targeted to the birds, right? What are the birds? Satan takes the seed, word of God. And who could this be, you know, in, 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 in this, you know, um, gospel, book of gospel? It could be Pharisees, elders, and Herodians, and teachers of laws. They heard the word of God, word, of, word from Jesus Christ, and they, they witnessed the miracles, right? And, and they witnesses, uh, witnessed the, the miracles like driving out demons and heal the sick, but their mind was so tied up with their own hardened mind, right? With spiritual jealousy. You know, how could we do this? You know, we, we cannot do. And their social position, you know, they, are high, they, are, they were in high in the social position, right? And they, they could realize, uh, they could not realize that Jesus was the Messiah, the one who they were waiting for, right? They could not understand. On top of you know, losing the words of God, they became the one's plan and actually killed Jesus Christ, right? On the cross. The next type of soil is rocky place. And in Matthew 13, 5, it described as rocky places with shallow soil, okay? And this type of soil could, uh, could be found near the Sea of Galilee, where, where, where they were. According to the commentary book, I looked into some of the commentary book, and, and it is not filled with a little rock, actually. It's not, you know, little rock, just the whole bottom of the, you know, the ground is rock, and with very little, you know, surface soil. And this type of, you know, thin layer of soil, and this type of soil can easily observe you know, uh, the, the moisture and acts like a greenhouse bed. <laughs> and so it, it sprouts quickly. But in Matthew 13, 6, and Jesus said, but when sun comes up, you know, the plants were scorched and they were withered because they, they had no root with them, right? So the people could not be the ones who heard the word of Jesus, but they got the benefit of, of the Jesus at that time, and some of them may ex experience many miracles of Jesus Christ. But when hard time comes, and they even saw the five loaves and two, you know, miracle of the, the, the two fish, right? Feeding 5,000 people, and or they, they are the one who saw the miracles of healing the sick and raising the dead, and but they were, when they were stirred by, when there are there there were hard times from the priests and Pharisees, they became the one who shouted, "Crucify him!" Right? So when they lose, about to lose their benefits because of believing Jesus Christ, they. They abandon the faith, right? So, not even abandoning, crucifying. You know, they they are the ones who who's gonna kill you know the, the, the believers and oppress the believers. So, what's remaining? What is next? The the soil among thorns, right? And I assume this is the one of the most prevalent mind in these days. Uh, Jesus said in Mark 4, 19, but the worries of, of this life and deceitfulness of wealth and the desires for other things came into, uh, come in and choked the word, making it, making us unfruitful, right? So think about what's in your mind, okay? What do you mind? Look into your mind. You have so many things as a young people, you know, 
you have so many desires in your mind that I want to do, I want to be something like this and that. But please check it out whether it's, it's, it's for glory, yeah, glory for God, or is it just only for you? Does it you know, make any, uh, any expansion of, of the kingdom of God or not? Just think about that. So uh, that, that kind of type of soil, the soil among the thorn, uh, thorns, that reminds me, you know, the, wealth, uh, the rich guy, who asked Jesus about how, how can I get the eternal life, right? So, Mark 10, 17, okay, next slide. Okay, is there any volunteers who want to be Jesus Christ? Okay, no? Yes? Oh, okay. Please come, please come, come forward. I, I'm gonna be the rich guy. Okay, let's make a, make a small play together. Joseph, why don't you come forward? Okay, here there are three three people. Okay, you okay? You are the narrator. Narrator does not have any lines or you know uh, red 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 you know the, the, the colorings. Okay, Ariana. She wants to be a Jesus Christ. Ariana, do you, can you read it from here? No? If you, how about here? You can read it. Okay? Okay. I'm going to be the bad guy, okay? Wealthy guy. Okay, let's do the play, okay? Uh, Joseph, you will read the, the narration, okay? Okay, let's start. Action! As he just started on his way, a man ran up to him and fell on his knees before him. Good teacher! He asked, what must I do to inherit the eternal life? <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Red one. Why don't you? Why do you? Why do you go? Good. Ah, uh, 30. 18. 18. 18. Teacher, all this I have kept since I was a boy. Jesus looked at him and loved him. Oh, you, you need to look at me. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. He said, uh -huh. um, go, go sell everything you have and uh -huh. to the poor. Oh my. Oh. oh. At this, the man's face fell. He <gasps> went away sad because he had great wealth. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, Amen. 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 Good job, Ariana. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should have, you know, cho chose the you know, young one for that. <laughs> okay, anyway. This is, you know, what's left to us. What well, yes, it is it is a uh, you know in these days, this is the main part, you know. People have desires more than faith in God, mm -hmm. especially money, fame, and, and what else? Have a better life, mostly money, right? And some people, you know, crazy for movies and sports and, you know, sexual stuff and so on. So what else do we have? Good soil, right? And Jesus immediately finished the parable of four types of soil by saying, Mark 4.20, others, let's keep read, reading, others like seeds of song on good soil, hear the word, accept it, and produce a crop 30, 60, or even 100 times what was sown. Jesus did not add any extra explanations after this except that he wants to have 
you know, 60, 30, 60, 100, 100 times of, you know, fruits, right? Then what was sown? That's it. And in, you, you remember our, using our giants, giant churches terminology? What is the fruit? True fruit is our inner being. Inner being. Or we can say that the portion of Jesus Christ in us, right? To expand the portion of Jesus in our inner being or expand the kingdom of God in us, I want to focus on three verbs here. What are they? One, hear. Two, oh, accept. I had too much as one. Well. Okay. Accept. And another one is produce. Produce. One was what? Here. Here. Second. Accept. And third, produce. Okay. Next slide. Okay. In old Greek, here is aku. Am I am I pronounced pronounce right? Aku. And, and it means to hear, to attend to, consider what what is what it is or what has been said. Okay. Just meditate on it, something like that, and to understand, perceive, sense of what is said. In other words, we need to hear words of God and meditate on it, okay? That's the first part. The second verb is what? Accept. Accept. Accept, which is in, in Old Greek, paradekomai. Okay? Paradekomai is to receive, take up, and take up one's self something like that it means you receive the word of god and make your own okay and you do and perform the word of god which is given to you and this is the connected to the last verb too okay what is the last verb to produce it's it's called car carpo poreo something like that okay it's hard to read and yeah carpo Forever, forever, or anyway, and it means to bear fruit, to bear, bring forth uh, with your deeds, okay, what you do. So uh, it seems like it's more focused on your, your actions of faith, okay. So bear fruit of oneself, okay. So the point is that all words take, you know, present tense, okay. Mm -hmm. Present tense. Therefore, the direct translation of the next, you know, the, the, the text could be like this, okay? Continuous hearing the word of God and continuously accept the word of God and continuously bearing fruit out of them, okay? So, in contrast to people in three types of field, you know, mentioned before, you know, above, who gave up hearing and acclimatizing in halfway? People in the, you know, compared to people in the good soil, right? And, you know, the, the people with good soil, they were able to bear much fruit by focusing the word of, word of God. And they expanded the kingdom in them with a vitality that did not, yield to any adversities okay so they fought against you know they any adversities and then they got the vitality of the word of god and that produced you know 30 60 100 times of the fruit okay so one thing to note here is that the fruit is expressed in a various various way um in, in this you know uh, today's word 30, 60, and 100 times. I think this kind of harvest emphasized that dynamic, you know, by, uh, vitality of the seed, the word of God, rather than the ability of the field. The field does not have any ability, but the seed has got vitality to produce the the, the, the fruit. Indeed, the seed sown in a person grows abundantly within, within him, in him, bringing about changes in his heart, such as repentance and humility and meekness, such as, you know, 
such changes does not remain within him, but they are gradually pass on the others too. Amen? Amen. So on the other hand, the, the various ways of you know, 30, 60, 100 times also remind us the parable of the talents. You remember the parable of the talents? In Matthew 25, the, tw the story, there are different numbers of talents given to the servants of God, right? And one talent, two talent, five talent. The, the one who got the one talent, he just you know, dig out you know, the ground and put that in and didn't do anything. But others, they, they work hard on you know, the, what was given and from the master and they remain you know five five more than talents or two more talents so various you know numbers of uh, of this you know uh, fruit indicate that the types of fruit are diverse okay uh, this implies that when when we practice the word of god and build the kingdom of god each person will bear fruit in various forms not only one way some people can, you know, play drum or keyboard and giving praise to God. Some people has a talent to make a good food, support, you know, the, the whole, whole congregation, something like that. They have different talents, right? So, therefore, we must respect each other's various fruits. Amen? Amen. Amen. Okay, next slide. Okay, this is your favorite slide, conclusion. The secret of kingdom of heaven is you need to avoid the way of pathway. Like Pharisees, Herodians, teachers of the laws who were constantly stick on their own social privileges and hostile to be changed. Right? And even though they saw the miracles in front of them, they lost chance to be saved right so second thing is avoid the way of rocky place resist the anti-christian movement okay you we can name so many things right in these days so you have to resist that the world hates and including you in john 15 8 uh, verse 18 to 19 jesus said if word hates you, keep in mind that it hates me first. If you belong the word, you you would love you as its own. As it is, you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen out of the world what uh, that is why the world hates you. Okay? So do not belong to the world, okay? And keep yourself separate from the world and be the family of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. And last one is, uh, the third one is, avoid the you know, places of thorns. Avoid the worldly desires, worries among you. How can we avoid this pathway? You know, rocky places and places of thorns. And the, the only solution is being a good soil. Okay? How can you make our mind to be a good soil? Do you remember the three verbs? One is hear, another one is accept, another one is bear. So continuously, continuously hearing the word of God and continuously accepting the word of God and <laughs> let the root go down deep in your mind, okay? And let the plant grow and continuously bearing fruit. How can we do this, okay? How can we do that? The most important thing is join worship services that you can hear the word of God and join the Bible studies and join the prayer meetings. Okay, you have tons of you know, chances throughout in your week. One week, we have so many meetings. Expose yourself with words of God and read Bible daily and meditate on it. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 This is the word of God.